job. Love the song. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Thanks for uh, Ryan in the back. Also a Backstreet Boy fan right here, Janine. Absolutely. Yes. We've got Dennis Courtney, the owner of Fresh Healthy Vending Oklahoma. It's good to see you back again. Good to see you. Thanks well, for having us back. Well, today we wanted to have you back to talk about just older vending machines versus newer vending machines because, you know, sometimes if you're hungry, you don't have time to run out for lunch, you don't say, okay, what's the best choice here in our vending machine? So what are your thoughts on this? I mean, first of all, there are some newer choices coming out, which right. I appreciate. Well, what we've seen with uh, traditional vending machines is that when, when you walk up to these vending machines, they, they have, you know, the, the typical candy bars, potato chips, fat-laden potato chips, bad drinks, full of bad sugars. So what we've done is we've taken a vending machine and, out and incorporated healthy products, you know, fresh fruits and vegetables, soy milks, organic milks. Um, and it, now, you can't take away the chips, but we offer the healthy alternative to chips Basically, so you still get that, that taste for the chips, but they're pop chips, they're uh, rice puff chips, they're baked chips, so they're not fat laden. So are you finding that people are going for the, the most healthy options in these newer machines? It's kind of like the old you can lead a horse to water type thing. Well, I think parents uh, throughout Oklahoma City are real happy to know that inside the YMCA's that their children are being able to uh, uh, obtain healthy snacks. Same thing with schools. Schools are going to welcome the fact that you know they know that their children aren't going to be eating the, the bad candy bars and the bad snacks. They're going to have the healthy, nutritious, uh, fresh fruits and vegetables, 100% uh, fruit juices. Yeah. So yeah, I think parents are really excited. Kids like our stuff. Yeah. You know, plus the the portion controls are really important too. You know, you, you get a bag of cookies that have no preservatives, none of the crazy oils and stuff that should not be in food that can make it last for 2,000 years. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, you yeah, know, parents and kids alike really like our stuff. I think, uh, can you talk some of these changes up to technology uh, in the older machines that you couldn't, they weren't refrigerated, but I know some of the newer ones are. Right. Well, our machines are, you know, the, the graphics are very eye appealing. When you, I've, I've sat there and I've watched customers walk by a traditional machine and our machine, and every time because of the LED lighting, the uh, the graphics and the glass front, plus our products are different. You know, they're you don't see the traditional candy bar or the the bad bag of potato chips. Mm -hmm. So I've seen parents walk by and they'll walk right by the traditional machine and they'll walk up to ours and they'll take a second look. Yeah, because it's eye it's eye appealing. The new technology, it's out there, the refrigeration. Uh, you can have a dual climate controlled um, machine, so that, that way you have, you just don't have the mundane dull uh, room temperature products that a traditional machine has. You have both. You have a nice cold drink, plus a bag of chips, baked chips, or, or um, you know, a, a healthy uh, granola bar. Right, yeah, well, speaking of, maybe you don't have one of these new super cool vending machines in your office yet, you can call them to get one, but how do you make the best choice with what's available to you there? Is it the granola bars? Is it more of the baked goods? What do you think? Um, I think it, it's all, it, it's determined where the machine is located. If it's in a school, apparently, or obviously, you want your uh, kids to have the, the fruits and vegetables. Um, corporate America is moving more towards having workout facilities inside their buildings. So they would like to have some of the energy drinks, some of the natural teas, instead of the Gatorade, oh, I'm sorry, <laughs> but you know, some, of the, some of the drinks that are that are laden with uh, not so good products. Yeah, okay, well there you go. I hope that helps everyone, help you you know make the best decision when, with, with what's available to you. I know it's not always easy. So thank you so much, Dennis, for coming back and we'll look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you for having us. All right, we well, we're gonna pitch right across to the other side of the studio right now and go from healthy vending to jewelry because it's